is it working? Okay, hi guys, welcome back to some more Fall of Porcupine, false PhD bird game as some people might call it. Uh, yeah, we are back over here, so things were a little bit tense yesterday after the storm and the damage to the hospital infrastructure and people were all tensed up and we had a bar fight and everything, which was pretty cool. Had a nice little turn-based fighting game in this game. But, uh, yeah, hopefully things are better today. Morning, kiddo! Good morning. Is it? I'm not too sure about that yet. Oh, boy. Birdman 2 is looking good, yeah. Got a message for you. Dr. Theobald wants to see you in his office. And before your, sh your shift starts, too. He didn't look too happy. What? Why? Best let him tell you that himself. Good luck, kiddo. Oh, God, that is... We didn't do anything bad. Let's not keep Dr. Theobald waiting. You can find him in his office on the second floor. He seemed so nice. It was rough enough dealing with Dr. Krokowski. Now Dr. Theobald is on our ass as well. Fuck my life. I wonder if I'm trying to get out of talking to Dr. Theobald. Maybe. Yeah, we can delay it a little bit. It's fine. Hey! Day is only just starting. You can already feel the tension in the air. I don't know what's wrong. Seems like everyone's on a short fuse right now. Yeah, seems like it. I'm the same. That's why I'm trying to get some exercise at least. Okay. Good for you. Just beat a bunch of people in the bar. I mean, we did do that, but... Did he... Did he... Hear about that? Morning, slugger. Looking for a fight with us now, too? What? No, what are you talking... They heard about the fight. God damn it. We're talking about the trouble you guys caused yesterday. We weren't even personally involved. It was... What's his name? Carl, who fought. The temperature people we picked up said you attacked them out of nowhere. That's not what happened. That's not the point. We've been told expressly to keep a low profile now. You weren't there. You should have heard what they said to us. Yeah, well, we're all keeping to ourselves all the same. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, it was really... They were extremely rude to us. And yeah, unfortunately, Carl kind of snapped. And we tried to calm him down, but... And now we are gonna face consequences because of that? That is a load of baloney. That's the whole, like, teacher of, like, bringing you into the office and you're like, But he started it. I don't care who started it. You both get punished. That's the most annoying fucking thing. Negative minus one on respect. Yeah, man, it's terrible. Cracking motherfuckers, hey! Welcome to uh, the live stream, Kovac. It's all good. Got a lot of viewers today. Seems like my ads finally worked. Doors locked. Looks like Mr. Heinrich isn't in. I beat up like 20 people in a bar for no reason. Jesus, damn. That's, uh, that's next level. Oh, yeah, they're here too. Okay, what's going on? Ah, there you are, Finley. Mia, Carl, thank you for coming. I'll have a lot to do, so I'll get to the point. We've heard about what happened last night. Carl was only defending himself. It was a personal matter. Unfortunately, we don't quite see it that way. Personal matters can also have an impact on your job. Dr. Tillbald, you weren't there. Not going to be the fall guy just because this place is coming apart. That's That's... As it seems, that's enough. I've already spoken to Dr. Krakowski and Mr. Heinrich. I don't like to do this, but under the current circumstances, we need to show that such actions come with consequences. Carl, you're on leave until further notice. Damn. Fuck. And then not in the hospital, but in an insane asylum cell. What the fuck did you do in that bar? Sorry, what? All distance on to do you good. What? Now for you, Mia and Finley. I'm also issuing you a warning. This will be recorded on your files. Excuse me? What? 
I expected better of you, too. This was on the very same day we had expressly requested that the situation not be allowed to get out of hand. Let this be a lesson for the future and for us all. You told us not to talk with, like, press. You didn't tell us not to get into bar fights. Please understand, I don't like to do this any more than you do. As chief physician, I am liable for any incidents involving my staff. And one or more people misbehave, it reflects poorly on all of us. That is such a load of baloney. Like, yeah, I, I, I get all that fucking bureaucracy and optics and shit, but... Now please, get back to work. I hope you have a successful day. It's gonna be rough for Carl. Dr. Tobald, I... Please, Finley, I don't like doing this. You have to believe me. Please, get to work now. You'll have to do without Carl for a while. All the more important that you do your job properly. This will all blow over, I promise. No pencil, but I did find a cactus. Damn, you got in a bar fight and you fought with a cactus? That's insane. In the same asylum is a lot worse than prison. Yeah, it can be. Like, you know, people get mistreated there quite badly. Head fire. Factor of my hospital home is stealing blood in order to satisfy my hemoglobin addiction. What the? Where, where am I getting myself into? Be worse mentally, and a prison would be extremely dangerous physically. I think mentally insane asylum can be dangerous physically as well. But I think I think that's a pretty good way of saying it. Yeah, like people there. There's been like recorded in press cases of people by mistakes put, being put in mental health asylum, and by the time they got out, they had like mental health symptoms. So whatever is going in there, it's it definitely needs improvements. I think I glitch YouTube because there's really no way that many viewers here because when I was gone that didn't happen, but now I'm here. Suddenly so there's so many viewers are watching right now. Hmm. Indeed, looks like the improbability drive has been activated. You like eating a lot of burgers? Uh, yeah, I like burgers. It is so unfair. It is, truly. But what can we do? Carl, I... It's okay, kid. It was a dumbass thing to do. I know that. Maybe a short vacation will do me good. Give me a chance to calm down. Think about a few things. I'm just sorry you guys got dragged into this. I don't think you did anything wrong. Sometimes that ain't the point. I'm gonna head out. Maybe I'll go out for a nice leisurely breakfast. Haven't done that in years. Hey, do me a favor. Sure, what do you need? Keep an eye out on your word. On our word, will you? We don't have enough staff as it is. Yeah. It's a good thing if they are real living human beings, Hofnar. Seen this many viewers before. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Those ad monies are finally paying off. Fucking spend loads of dollars on that shit. Sorry I'm making your workload even worse. It'll be fine. Maybe you get more subscribers. I mean, I did. Just broke 20k. Yeah, yeah. We'll be doing a video about it and everything. Plenty of rest and sleep. Then you'll be in top shape when you come back. You got it. I'll check in with you later. I'll look forward to it. Oh, well. Yes, that's that. And yes, burgers are pretty good. I did have a burger this weekend, actually. A homemade burger. Was with a patty, some salami, cheese, breaded mozzarella, and uh, ketchup, parmesan, as well. Bacon, too. It was really good. It had everything. I loved it. I didn't eat breakfast, so I had to compensate with like an extra chunky thing. Took you too long, to be honest. It did. I really just should have started a lot of things earlier. Both the YouTube channel and the live streaming and the improved thumbnails. I just... I always keep things way too late to do them. And yeah, well, the, the train kind of left the station. And still some blood packs for me. I need it for my hemoglobin addiction. <laughs> I, I have questions. 
about that hemoglobin addiction. Isn't Dr. Krakowski here? Sure she is. She's pretty much always here. She's in the break room. Dr. Krakowski keeping her head down more than usual right now. Must have a lot on her mind. Thank you. I'll go see her. See... See here. See her, probably. Then start my shift. Yeah, you do that. Where have you guys been anyway? I've been rushed off my feet all morning. We got called into Dr. Kitobal's office. Looks like we'll have to do without car for a while. We'll have to do what now? Has been, he been fired? No, no, but he's gonna be... He's not gonna be in for a few days. Suspended, yeah. Oh, well, that's just great. Exactly what I needed right now. Types of burgers. The ordinary and the chicken burger. And they're both good. Instead of pat, it's fried chicken. I guess there would be fish burger as well. If you think about it. Fastest metabolism in the state of Pennsylvania because I always eat so much and I gain no way. But that can change though. It can change. Be, be careful with that. I had a friend who had a similar metabolism back in high school. He would eat humongous sandwiches like i didn't understand where did that much food got into him and never gone got fat and then after university he got fat and now he's trying to lose weight so that definitely can change as i better stop wasting time chatting with you then better get to work see you later you like fish sticks eh, they're fine wouldn't necessarily pick them personally but i can have them i'll actually have them tomorrow i wanted to change a little bit from chicken nuggets for once and i grabbed some fish sticks self he did a trillionaire <laughs> don't give them companies bad ideas i'm trying man but i think they are already floating them hot dogs those are good as well i've been doing hot dogs once a week for the past few weeks and I'm loving them. Dr. Krakowski won't believe what Dr. Theobald said. I mean about Carl being put on leave? Uh, yes, exactly. How did you know? I assume that was how the conversation would conclude. The issue was raised in the organizational meeting this morning. I was told, also told about the incident at Gilbert's. It was clear that the incident could not pass without consequences. Not these days. Dr. Krakowski, if I can just explain, there's no need to explain anything. You know exactly how I feel about it. I also know how imprudent your behavior was, given our current situation. But I understand your feelings. Believe me, everyone here does. The frustration, the short fuse, the thin skin. It's all very understandable. It's rare to, s to hear these words from Dr. Krakowski. <laughs> Nevertheless, I support Dr. Theobald's decision. This is not the time to indulge in such provocations. Carl is a good nurse. The best we have, I would say. This makes it all the more important that we compensate for his absence. Focus and do good work. I... Ooh. Interesting. Interesting decisions we have here. If I was in Zootopia, I would eat chicken <laughs> because there's no puppies in there. You'd be a cannibal in there, mate. Oh, cold your horses. Food is food. Yeah. Food is food. I agree. That's why I eat pineapple on my pizza. It's the most active chat has been ever. Yeah, I know. I love it. I'll do my best. Thank you, Finley. Here's another chance for you to show me what you've got. Have a good shift. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, what we have? New patients! Well, one new patient. And two of the um, usual peeps. How are you feeling? Not great. I got a stomach ache and I'm nervous. Maybe I should have intervened yesterday? Should I have said something? You're way more sensible than us. You didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. I need to really put everything into this. We'll get through it together. Yeah, we will. Chicken nuggets! Alright, new patient! What do we have today, sir? Ah, oh, there you are, finally! I need to make an urgent phone call. I was meant to be... Meeting a client four minutes ago. If I make them wait any longer, there will be serious consequences for me. Really, I don't have time to be here at all right now. First of all, good morning to you. 
You're Miss Van Gallen, right? Sonja. Sonja Van Gallen. That's right. And you came to us yesterday with some symptoms. Would you like to take a moment and explain again how you're feeling? That humans don't exist in Zootopia. And just eat the animals. Oh god. Now that you've mentioned it. Dizziness, heart palpitation, headaches, a sensation of swimming in a deep black sea but never reaching the shore. Same as usual, basically. So... What? Anxiety attack? I'm sure you're familiar with the condition. Same as usual. Well, more or less, the sensation has intensified over the past few days. Sharp chest pains. Moments when I didn't quite know where I was or whether I was awake. A colleague advised me to get it checked out after I fainted twice yesterday. Okay, so... Low blood pressure, maybe? Coupled with anxiety? You have any pills you can give me? I don't think this is a problem we can solve with a few pills. Let me take a closer look at what's going on. Alright, but please don't take too long. Or humans are the animals. We are animals at the end of the day. Wanna know the most disgusting thing of your life? Mate, I've been talking with Super Hitman on the chat for a few months now. I don't think you can face me. It's fine. Do you like beer? No, I don't. Sorry. It's... There's very... I, I don't really like alcohol in general. I can't really stand it. Cider is the only thing I can barely stand. But yeah, beer is not really my thing. Oh god, it's this one. Oh, oh. Oh god, this is so... I mean, it's better than the diagnosis, because that is extremely hard, but we did it! Whew, we got a B. Alcohol isn't a good thing anyway. Alcohol is great, helps me cope with my pain. Alcohol is fun, but yeah, it has many disadvantages, and I don't like the taste of it, so yeah. If I want to get drunk, obviously I'll just go for fucking spirits, like shots, because they are the most efficient. But other than that, yeah, one cider is all that I take. Your heart rate is incredibly high. To start with, you need some rest. And yeah, obviously alcohol is not great health-wise. I guess I can take an hour for lunch for a change. Can you give me the pills right now, or do I need to go to the pharmacy? You should stay here today for observation. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. What did you say? I need to stay here for the time being. This guy is freaking out. We're going to give you some medication and monitor you for now. Please take the medicine three times a day at meal times. It means today at noon, tonight, and to be on the safe side tomorrow morning. Could be tricky, I don't eat in the morning. Seem like fucking extreme ADHD or what's going on with him? These are rabies in Zootopia, because I would watch what all building plus make a good R rated version of the show. That that would essentially be like a zombie apocalypse in Zootopia, though. And you should make an exception tomorrow. Alright. So what was that? Twice a day, right? Three times. I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. I never used to struggle with numbers. But right now, I can't even remember my phone number. So I'll set a reminder in my phone for the pills. There's no need for that, we'll do it for you. But you need to avoid stress, okay? Try and switch off. Don't make any phone calls. And do not work. I'll try. Yeah, it could be like high... Stress resulting in huge cortisol, resulting in like, you know, anxiety and high blood pressure and everything. Probably every once in a while I heard nobody. Yeah, that's true. It's just when that once in a while becomes regular that it becomes a problem. Now she has chronic liver damage, it's irreversible, she takes pills... She's dying slowly. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it, it it's definitely rough. My my grandpa had 
drank a lot and yeah he's gone now I'll be like like my mom when drinks a lot yeah hey you two how are things I'm doing great doc I can't wait to get out of here yeah but I'm not leaving without Ollie I get that Rudy just keep a little distance okay Ollie still needs to rest sure thing doc how are you doing Ollie Y'all drink responsibly, bozo. That's the message right there. She can control the drunkness. Yeah, I mean, if you drink constantly, but you develop tolerance, and at that point you just don't feel the drunkness anymore, unless you drink even more. I even managed to sleep for a few hours last night. Can I leave today? I want to go home with my brother. Slow down, Ollie. Let me check your readings first, okay? Yeah, okay. Alright, treatment time. Let's see. Okay, so we definitely need one of these bad boys. And then we're gonna need some pluses over here. Right. Then we need some green. Actually, no, we don't need... Yeah, we need green, but we don't need yellow. Okay, that's good. Bang. And we need... One of that. Birdman really is saving lives. He's doing his best. I drink, I drink is Rattler, basically lemonade and beer combined. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. I, I tried lemonade Rattler and I, I still couldn't like it. Like, yeah, just fruit cider. That's that's really it for me. Whoa, not too. How do I? How do I? How do I delete uh, appeal? No, I keep adding them. There you go. Hold on. What? Why B? That was perfect treatment. I don't understand. Be a superhero but turned into a hero. Yeah, kind of, kind of a reasonable story for would-be doctors. So, hmm, what do you think, Doc? Is Ollie healthy again? Not quite. Oh, but we got your bacteria under control now too. You should be feeling better again soon. Phew. Really? Yes! All in Aether! Coming back in the second round to beat the Shigella on points! Yes, good work, Ollie. Rudy, you'd better go home now. Give your brother another day of rest. Sure thing. No problem at all. Did you hear that, Ollie? So we can go out and have fun again. Please don't drink random drinks from your basement again. Only to finish my rounds. See you later, you two. You betcha, Doc. Sure, Doc. Going to stay here for a little while. Of course, take your time. Nice. Okay, it's actually Project Nexus reference because it has doctors, you know? Doc? Dude, oh god. Everything is fucking Project Nexus reference these days. Hello? Greetings, hardworking fellow citizen. Oh no. Hello, Carl. <laughs> oh, to see how things are going. I just can't keep away from you guys. Everything's going okay so far. You've been gone for like half a day. Relax. The run's a little tense. I'm also in the middle of my rounds right now. Let's catch up properly another time, okay? That's a fabulous idea. I was just sitting here drinking a nice hot coffee. And I got the urge to go out and do something. I could use your help. If you have the time, meet me at the supermarket after work. The supermarket? Yep, I'll explain everything to you there. I have to hang up now. Busy, busy. You know it is. Hope he doesn't plan any, like, fucking revenge thing. They're doing could possibly do that. That is a good point. Hello, Irma. How? It's going to snow soon. Just in time for the hibernation festival. You think so? No, I know so. I can feel it in my bones. Damn. His name is really Doc. Come on, people. Wake up to reality. His name... 
Yeah. My limbs always start tingling when like this and the snow's on its way. I know my mom is getting that in her legs now after the accident. That's how I know it's the first day of winter. I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little wistful today. My lovely roommate was discharged this morning. I suppose that's made me a little lonely. How are you doing, Finley? Same as always. Is something bothering you, my dear? Oh, you know, just everyday life. I see. I could tell you a short story to cheer you up. Why don't you start telling me how you're feeling today? Oh, that can wait. Do you have a few minutes to spare an old lady? I'm all ears. Always nice to hear a story from her. I don't trust any command this character with my organs. I trust Skinner though. I I yeah, I would I no. Not 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 really. I mean maybe the higher powers to resurrect me, but would you like to make yourself a tea first? In this weather it's important to take the time to get cozy. Thanks, but I'm okay. Doing the rounds has warmed me up. Alright. Now where to begin? Before little Giuliano was born, I used to travel a lot. When I was young, I was doing an apprenticeship and renting a small room in Sandalwood. One beautiful spring morning, I was strolling through this lovely little flea market. I found a beautiful old globe right there and I bought it right away. I placed it in my room and decided right there and then I was going to visit somewhere on that globe in real life. So without further ado, I started making plans. I packed some clothes, a little something to munch on, of course, my travel journal to record my journey, and last but not least, my three lucky dice. I didn't have much money at the time, so seeing the bare necessities suited me. One cool spring morning, I set out. After I'd crossed the first couple of borders, my stomach was growling. You just left on a Countrywide journey with only that? Had no money left, of course, but I did have my lucky dice with me. Walked into a fancy restaurant, one that served the finest food the country had to add. To serve. And I challenged the owner to a bet. If I rolled a higher number than she did, my meal would be on the house. I lost. I spent the whole next year working in her kitchen, scrubbing my fingers to the bone. Damn. Uh, that's a cool story, I guess. Good looking game. Hopefully it will have a kid friendly story. It's a it is a cute game, but the stories are very heavy. It goes into like deep stuff about dysfunctional healthcare systems. Presumably in the US, but we don't know for sure, so yeah. I also promised her one of my lucky dice. After a year of hard work, I managed to work my way up to co-manager of the restaurant. Damn, my journey wasn't over just yet. Imagine leaving home, going into bumfuck nowhere, and just getting hired at a restaurant. What? What year was this? I had more than enough of, my, of the restaurant business by then, so I continued on my way. I didn't need money, I relied on my intuition and my two lucky dice. It was the dead of winter, and my shoes weren't as waterproof as they used to. So I called a cab. I challenged the cab driver to a bet. If I rolled the same number as he did, he would give me the free ride. Wherever I wanted to go, and however long I wanted to go there for. I rolled the dice. I lost. Man, your lucky dice are not very lucky. Let me explain the most disgusting speech of all time. What are you writing if it auto-censors it? I, do I even want to know? That's how I met my next boss. His name was Gilbert. Spent two years driving people all over the country. I had the chance to get out of the car much myself though. But I still had a lovely time and Gilbert and I got on, got on like a house on fire. What? After two years we closed the cal... Cab, cab company and hit the road together. I kept the second lucky die hanging from the rear view mirror of my cab the whole time. Traveled wide and far until one day we pulled up in a dreamy little town called Porcupine. It was my birthday, so we headed to an old tavern to celebrate. Had a great time staying up on 
almost until sunrise. Don't know if Tyron was an elderly gentleman, and we soon got talking with him. I challenged him to a bet. If we roll the same number three times with the one with our lucky die. We have a hold for review option enabled. This guy really needs it disabled. I I, I don't have it for comments. I, I'm not sure about live streams, but... Um, yeah. Dude, let us have the old tavern. But on the third roll, disaster struck. The die fell off the table. Gilbert went to pick it up, then slammed the back, the back of his head into a light fitting as he got back up. Spent several weeks at St. Ursula's. Hospital was still pretty new back then, you know? Calls me the most disgusting name on the planet Earth just so she can impress some girl. Uh, when he was healthy again, he took my hand. We looked at each other. Same thought in both our minds. We wanted to stay here. In our little porcupine. Forever. We scraped together our savings. We worked hard. And three years later, we had enough money to buy the small tavern. Anyway, that's how the story ends. You shouldn't always rely on your luck. But it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. At least, not most of the time. You've seen so much of the world, Irma. I did my best. As it turned out, my favorite place wasn't all that far away. How about you? What about me? What's your favorite place? I don't know yet. That's alright. We'll figure it out eventually. But we've still got some work to do, unless I'm much mistaken. Sorry? Um, yes, actually. Alright, let's do this. Oh no, diagnosis. Fuck, these are hard. Uh, okay, uh, got any, got new ones too. Okay, bone, eye, blood, and brain. Okay, it contains all of them, just not in the right order. That's very interesting. Typing on the phone, it's not very convenient, I'll have to say. Yeah, it can be difficult. Okay, so, uh, brain, uh, bone, eye, blood. I got the brain, right? So it's not, the eye is not there. That means it could be, the eye has to be here. The blood has to be here, and the bone has to be here. Perfect! A! Done! Easy! It is faster, though. Uh, yeah, no, personally, I, 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 I type faster on the keyboard. The things on the phone are just way too small. There is one advantage, though, on the keyboard. You do have autocomplete, so that can help out, but... Other than that, keyboard is life. Your fever has gone down a bit, but some of the symptoms are more severe than they were a few days ago. Should I be worried? We'll manage it. I'm going to talk to the senior physician. Thank you. I guess I'm going to be missing the hibernation festival this year. I'm sorry, Irma. I was hoping we'd have you back on your feet by then, but this inflammation is proving stubborn. That's okay. I've seen plenty of hibernation festivals in my life. One more or less won't make a difference. You'll be going, though, I hope? Yes, I have a night shift tomorrow. I'll check out the festival beforehand. That's good. Is it your first hibernation festival? Yep. Nice. Why did you dumb jump scare me? It's not my fault you're not paying attention to the game. Why are you capitalizing every word? I don't know what it, why he does that, but it is funny. I hope you can enjoy it to your fullest. Maybe I'd be so bold as to ask a favor of you? <laughs> Told you to shut up. <laughs> of course. Guys, come on. No no fighting in chat. He, he has the right to be in the chat as much as you. As long as he doesn't, like, you know, insult your starts... 
saying slurs or stuff. Son Giuliano, he's always so busy on the day of the festival. I was wondering if you could bring me a hazelnut candle. Porcupine's hibernation festival is the only place you can get them. You make an old lady very happy. If I find the one, I'll be sure to pick it up for you. I promise. Thank you very much. We still haven't found the hat for the hobo. I'm tired, and you must have a lot to do. Have fun tomorrow, Finley. I'll see you afterward. You get some rest here, Ma. Such a nice lady. Alright, well, we got a better day than yesterday. 2B and an A. It's not bad. Oh, okay. Dr. Krakowski is still in the break room. Must be intense if she spends all day there. Fuck, it is. To let the inner demons out, Kermit. I'm trying. Damn. And first we got Kovac with his hemoglobin addiction. Hofnar who is talking like... Hofnar and you with your inner demons. Is there anyone in this chat who doesn't have issues? You are not funny. Oh, shots fired. How did it go today? Not bad. It's been pretty quiet, luckily. Ah, could be the because of the hibernation festival. How do you mean? Hibernation festival is tomorrow, you know that, right? And what does that have to do with the word? I can't explain it exactly, but the hibernation festival is more than the people of Porcupine. Reassures them, gives them strength. Some see it as the most important day of the year. Every year you can see it in the condition of our patients. At this time of the year, they seem somehow less sick. Yeah, I mean... Psychology... The mental state helps the body recover too, so... If it's something important, it will work. Oh, it must be a really important festival. I've already heard so much about it from everyone. Surely the guy just has me on his hit list. <laughs> oh boy. You're on the night shift tomorrow. Go ahead and check it out. You might like it. I'll stop by before work. Are you going to? No, I'm afraid I don't have time. Also, I don't want to. Just do me a favor and don't get into any more trouble, okay? Alright. Anyway, your weak fever. Cell's <laughs> favorite gun. First, he loved with the brand. It's big, of course, and Sanford uses it. I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's pretty cliche, but the Deagle. I mean, I, you should know already. I mean, I I made it quite obvious in all of the Project Nexus episodes. But yeah, Deagle is definitely my favorite gun if if only i can get the chance to fire one in real life i feel that would complete me which reminds me i should add that to my to-do list a friend who went to therapy told me about this idea of like making a giant to-do list about all the things that you would like to do in your life just to keep mental track of the things you want to do and that would be one of them Looking good, Finley. Thank you for putting in the work during this difficult time. Rest assured that your efforts have been noted. Happy Hibernation Festival for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? That's right, I'll be on the night shift too. So get some rest, make sure you are nice and fresh tomorrow. Is there anything else you need today? Can you check on Nirma? You mean Mr. DeCalma? De I'm keeping an eye on her readings. I'm going to check on her again later. Have a good evening. Do try to avoid any major accidents. She will find plenty of opportunity between now and tomorrow night. Oh boy. It's mentioning Carl, isn't it? Deagle is a close second, yeah. Always been using Deagles. To do this, Mr. Uh, already, Mr. Streamer. Yeah, but not everyone who was in today's stream was in the live stream when I talked about it last time. So, yeah, it's an interesting idea. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in bed? I feel so restless. Can't keep still, you know. Wait a minute, are you bleeding? What? Oh, no. I was just downstairs in the cafeteria. I'm on a strict juice diet right now, you see. But your cook, Sergey, tells me you don't 
cater to such diets. So you ate, Sergey? Don't be so ridiculous. I wasn't thrilled at the news, I must say. So I helped myself to the fruit from the desserts to make my own juice with. Back at my own apartment, I have a modern juicer, of course. I like practice with large food processors and somewhat underestimated your kitchen's blender. Well, that's okay then, but still, you should be in bed and resting. Why would you go jogging at this time of day? Since that's obviously off the table now, I need to walk up and down the hallways at least a few times. Just for half an hour or so. I suppose there's no reason why you can't do that now. But please, don't overdo it. If you start to feel strange, go straight back to bed. Night shift will be around soon to see whether your medication has started to take effect yet. Yes, sir! So sounds like... Stimulant abuse, now that I think about it. Sorry this has put more work on your plate, too. Don't worry about it, Finley. At least I'm getting my steps in. We'll get through it. Good to hear you're optimistic. Now I know about it. Have more hate letters for me. <laughs> Come on, don't um, don't annoy him further. You know, like just just be friends and kiss, and everyone will be happy. What if you play Project Nexus with Crinkles and PewDiePie? Because most anticipated crossover in history, man. If only. At, at, at this point, that might be the only ch chance I have left for my fucking channel to blow up. Just having PewDiePie or someone like that play Project Nexus or... Or Road of the Dead or something. Even those, those, those no, actually, th they already played those. No, Project Nexus would be probably the only one. Have a great evening. You two staying much longer today? A little while, yeah. Well, I hope you can wrap up soon. See you at the Hibernation Festival tomorrow? I couldn't imagine anything more beautiful. Truly, it would be a dream come true. But looking at this new shift, Rota, I guess we'll have to manage without me. Aww, too bad. Hope you have a good day anyway. You too, kiddo. She's always here. Does she ever leave the hospital? Rudy, what are you doing down here? Waiting for my ride, but I wanted to get a snack for Oli before I go. He said he wanted something chocolatey, but the candy in the vending machine looks really gross. Tell me about it. There's a good chance it'll just eat your money without giving you any food too. Really? What a ripoff. Where can I get something sweet now? Uh, try the cafeteria? Should be still be lurking around somewhere. The cafeteria is already closed, but he might make an exception for you. Really? You think so? Maybe. Probably not. I hope you play with PewDiePie sometimes. I, I wouldn't mind playing with any of the big streamers personally, but I don't think they would look at me. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind a middle-of-the-road streamer either. Like Someone like Northern Lion or something would be cool too. Chance to play with Crinkles and Swain, though. That they're only make, making videos on the game. There are many other people making the videos on Project Nexus now. I was the only one early on, but it kind of caught on. I'm the only one making, like, videos with commentary, I guess. So that is a little bit of a uniqueness to it. But, yeah, it would be cool to, to hang out with them. Um... Playing the game and whatnot. God damn it, I've been talking so much. I didn't do too much th this time around in the game. Hey, Finley. Rough day, huh? You can say that again. Why is your thing so big? And cooking with me tonight? Oh, I said I'd meet up with Carl. Hmm. Oh, no, we have a choice. Do we meet up with Carl or with, with, with the girl? But the Carl, but, but the girl, but, 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 uh, I don't know, Carl is, has given me kind of bad vibes, so, I, I, I I'll, I'll stick with her, sorry Carl, bet we could hit him up, where's my eye idol, yeah, he's really cool. Cool, looking forward to it. Let's go to the supermarket first. I had a few more things before we start. 
Oh god, we might meet with him regardless. Alright. Well, anyway. I think this is a good place to end it. It's uh, been a long enough episode already. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you next time. We're going to make it a stop working. Bye-bye.